Good afternoon, or morning, or evening, whatever it is when you're watching this. Here from uh, Malmo in Sweden, from Next Edition HQ. Uh, my name's Adam Lear. This is my colleague Roger Pearson. Yes. We're sorry it's been so long since the last uh, demo room uh, update. We <laughs> promised more, and then we got really busy. So, uh, so uh, we're we're trying to make up for lost time. Yes, but the great thing is, there's a lot of requests out there. Yes. They want more and more videos, and it's that's very interesting. This encouraging, really. We've been to visit people, and they said, "Oh, you're the guys from YouTube." <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> so we. We're, uh, we're clearly getting a following going on. Anyway, what we want to do now today is uh, we want to talk about a new feature that Roger hasn't even seen yet, which is called salami slicing. Yeah, I've heard the name, but I don't know exactly what it means, actually. So. Okay, so salami slicing to us at Next Edition is basically what we're doing is... If you can see on the screen here, Roger, we've got the rundown here. Now, we all know the Russian doll thing, that an event goes into a script and a script goes into a rundown. So each of these blue lines is an individual script, therefore is an individual story. So what salami slicing is going to do is it's not actually uh, about food, which you'll be very disappointed to hear. Yeah, Mr. that was Roger. one of my ideas, maybe, but... Uh, we call them two restaurants, Roger. Yeah, I'd love to eat. Yeah, he yeah. likes to eat. <laughs> uh, what it is, is that every time you step out of a story into the next story, the system will automatically slice that story off the ingest machine and bring it into next. So that by the time you've gone through the whole of the rundown and you reach the end of the show, it's segmented into all of its individual stories. And we can also slice the whole show, both cleaner and dirty, as well as all of the individual stories and segments. Um, so by way of trying to demonstrate that, um, here in the hub here, I'm looking currently at videos. Um, but I have a little bookmark here that's called Salami Slices. And you can see that there's nothing in this bookmark at all. There's zero search results. Uh, and we're in the middle of the first story here. We don't salami slice the opening titles because if we did that, we, we will get the opening titles and we've yeah, probably yeah. got them as a video anyway. Course, so we, yeah. we're taking those away. Makes sense, yeah. yeah. So uh, what we have is the uh, first story and then story two, a story three, a story four. This is our standard next edition demo, but I'm just going to step through it and and show you. So from this point on, we're slimy slicing. So uh, the next queue takes us into camera four, which is here, all of us together. And the next queue will move us on into the next story. So if I bring the display back up now, you'll see all of a sudden here in our salami slices uh, window, mm -hmm. uh, we have story one, introduction and hub explain. Yeah, okay. This story has been sliced and recorded into a clip directly inside next. So if we move on, so let's move on to the next story. And again, if you watch here, because we're inside the next story now, so the system's now automatically sliced story two, which was search and bookmarks. And there, that is available in the hub now. So you take a closer look here. So now we've got story one and story two sliced. And we've been through story one and story two. And we're just at the end of story three. So let's move into story four. And we sit and wait just a second while the ingest finds it. And there it is. Okay. So now the really cool thing here is, um, if I take story two as an example, and I just open story two, okay? We have a small render while we bring up the HLS file on the uh, render. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is take this file, check out its uh, tags here. So here in its tags, we can see that it automatically gets tagged with salami. Uh, that's how we managed to send it here to the salami slices search. Yes. Uh, and we can play the clip here. Just to show you, I'm not selling snake oil, my favorite line. <laughs> and then the really cool thing is that this slice, we can just hit publish, YouTube. Publish. And we just send it to YouTube. And the media management, for instance, there, we could take that one and we hit publish and we go, oh, Facebook. So now when that finishes, that little render there, we just go publish to Facebook. And that's publishing to Facebook. So in a way, what we've done is we've taken something which is uh, basically on the system in the rundowns, and we've split it into their individual stories, and then we're posting them to social media almost in real time. We can do this automatically, actually. So you could do it so that um, as you step through the show, we're posting it to the website or we're posting it to an app the second you come out of the story. We do the render and then we send it. 
So if that's a necessary need that somebody has for sort of OTT delivery to, or, or instant delivery to an app or a website or to social media, we can actually automate that step of delivery as well. So you don't have to actually genuinely publish it. Just to do the old snake oil trick, let's go to, here's the story two. It's still processing a little at YouTube's end. Let's see. Okay, and then we push play on YouTube. And it's there, it's on YouTube. Wow. No problem. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, so this is a way, as I see it directly, is something that you can interact with, uh, with the viewers, with the audience, in a very, very fast way. Yeah, well, I mean, you think about something like a dance show. You would be able, in this situation, to, um, to take the start of the dance and the end of the dance. And then when you step out of the story for that dance, it will slice it off the ingest and post it to Facebook, for instance. And then the audience could be discussing and watching the dance that just happened on their mobile device. And make device. their own scores, maybe. And, yeah, and, and they could be discussing it on social yeah. media while the next dance is just about to start. So there's a lot of uh, potential for uh, the salami slicing. So, so when, we talk, when we talk about uh, the end of uh, uh, the, um, the traditional TV, this uh -huh. is a way to bring them back to life, so to speak. You yeah, because you'll be able to take Flow TV and put it onto that second screen really easily. Uh, it's also uh, useful for just for archiving purposes. Just you know, you've got the show all sliced up into its individual yeah, stories. For sure. Or for your, if you're a news organisation, you can put these little stories onto the website as uh, individual viewable things. No one has to get involved with cutting up the show at the end of the show and and re-encoding it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's just all completely automated, which is uh, what we're all about at Next. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So that's salami slicing. Uh, just a quick. Word, we're going to be at IBC this year, Hall 3, Stand C31. We're making a big fuss about it, as you probably already noticed, if you keep an eye on Facebook or LinkedIn. <laughs> uh, we're going to make an even more fuss. Uh, please come and see us. Uh, this is the ultimate storytelling solution, uh, and uh, we like helping you tell your story your way. Perfect. Thanks, Rog. Thank you. See you later. Cheers, bye.